So for those of you that currently play Terra, for those of you that at one point in time played Terra and are looking to potentially get back into Terra, I have some really, really good news for all of you. Terra is getting a brand new complete overhaul, or I mean, I guess overhaul might be a strong word, but I mean, it is kind of tactically an overhaul. Before we go ahead and jump into today's video though, I would like to talk about today's sponsor, Riders of Icarus M. You've played Riders of Icarus, one of the best monster collector MMOs on the market. Now step into the unique world of Riders of Icarus on mobile devices. Based on the PC title, you'll be taken to not only the field, but also to the air in large scale aerial combat, exploring and conquering the skies without restriction. Join together with other players and tackle massive world bosses to win powerful rewards and become the very best, like no one ever was. Seriously, as you're capable of taming monsters you find out in the world and turning them into mounts or battle companions, you can level them and have them grow with you, essentially functioning as an additional member of your group. And with the pre-registration already open, there's no better time than right now to not only get hyped up for the game, but to also go ahead and sign up to claim a variety of epic goodies like limited edition familiars and over $30 worth of pre-registration items. Experience the world of Riders of Icarus all over again whenever or wherever you are in Riders of Icarus M. If this looks or sounds like something that you're interested in, I urge you to go ahead and pre-register for the game using that link in the description of the pinned comment below. Now, I do not know how many times this has been requested on me over the last couple days. I've gotten DMs on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, all telling me that I have to cover the new 64-bit overhaul for Terra. So here I am. I plan on just quickly going through it all so you're all up to date with pretty much what I am up to date with. Terra's next content update is coming soon. Here's a preview of what to expect in Terra this month. 64-bit Terra client. If you saw our last dev note, you'll know that the Terra PC client is about to switch from 32-bit to 64-bit. We're extremely excited for this update because it means an overall smoother gameplay experience with fewer crashes. It also opens up some sweet possibilities for developing future Terra content. And I want you guys to know, when Mrs. Six and I would stream Terra over on Twitch, we would crash, I don't know how frequently, multiple times per stream. And this is with both of us having $5,000 computers. Performance issues and crashing are very, very commonly reoccurring issues within Terra. So knowing that they are finally going to upgrade to the 64-bit client, which is going to hopefully remove those issues is very promising to hear. I know a lot of people don't play Terra or left Terra because of those issues in specific. Because the new Terra client will take full advantage of up-to-date PC hardware, it means the game's minimum system requirements are changing. Once we go 64-bit, there's no going back. Below are the specs you'll need to run Terra after the update. And you know, they, they list the minimum and the recommended systems here. Uh, I mean, obviously my computer <laughs> meets these easily, but I know some people are not going to be happy with the increased system requirements that are shown here, especially considering Windows 10 is listed. Ugh, staying hydrated is hard. There's not much time left before the update, so be absolutely sure your computer meets these requirements before the client updates on Tuesday, August 11th, which is, I'm recording this August 10th, so that means the update is going live today. So if your computer is not up to date today, as of this video going live, then you're not gonna be able to play it. As with many games, systems that fall below the minimum specs will likely experience issues that can prevent you from playing. The update also includes a new weekend only dungeon, ready to put the new client through its paces. How about a 20 player raid? Commander's residence located in the Exodor Archipelago is open between Friday and Saturday and features the mysterious First Corps Commander, Machlach. And I'm gonna assume here that I got the pronunciation of that name perfectly, Machnach. This powerful opponent has new scales and surprises for even the most experienced Terra players, so be prepared for a challenge. Then they have returning dungeons. I don't know why they go ahead and remove dungeons to begin with. I think that's a stupid move, but anyway, we have two new returning dungeons and that is the Rift's Edge dungeon, which has been adjusted for five players. Loot will include Zenobia's Breeze Box. Also returning sort of is Rampaging RK9 Kennel, a revamped version of RK9 Kennel Hard, designed to challenge the level 70 characters with optimized gear. They go ahead and list that there are more details on the way. Keep an eye on the forums for more of this update closer to launch. You know what? The <laughs> Again, I am recording this August 10th. This patch goes live tomorrow and the fact that they're stating that uh there is going to be more updates closer to launch when the 
the launch of this is going live in less than 24 hours is a little disconcerting, but you know what? It, it doesn't matter either way. The, the patch is coming out tomorrow. If you're interested in playing through the patch, if you're interested in seeing what the 64-bit client has to offer, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna update and you're gonna jump in game and see what it's like anyway, right? Honestly, it is about time Terra updated to a 64-bit client. It has been having these issues for I don't even know how long, man. This is an overhaul that was definitely needed and it's good to see that they're finally jumping in on this now. I, I still don't know why they're making that Terra, what, MOBA, Terra Battle Royale, Terra spin-off game thing. I think that's a terrible decision. <laughs> that's a terrible uh, game mode to pursue. But you know what? There are a lot of changes coming to Terra, I think this year, next year. So stay tuned to the channel, follow us over on Twitch to keep up to date with our Terra streams or other MMO streams. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, you know, leave a comment and like and subscribe and everything to keep all that that uh, interaction flowing because YouTube loves interaction. Let me know what you guys think about the update, uh, if you're gonna play it or if it's not really going to affect your thoughts on the game in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Someday soon, I'm gonna make it. Gonna be worth it Ooh, and